morning everyone so I've just hooked up the windrower to the back of the Ford we're gonna go and get all the hay rowed up this morning over in the field we need to yeah we need to get that done today as soon as possible really because those bales aren't going to be enough to get us through winter and we may we may even have to do uh, more after this as well so we've got those bales there We'll have to add to them, but I've also got a feeling that Abby's going to be asking for some for the for the ponies soon. I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave that warming up for a bit. We're going to go and do the water for the cows. Okay. So, yep, yeah, engine's all up to temperature and everything. We're good to go. Let's head round to that field then. Put my beacons on there. That we're good. Okay, so yeah. Been a lot of work this field to get um to get all hayed and everything. It's gonna be good. This grass field start, uh, germinated and started looking much better than it, it did before. I think my mum, mum and dad are much happier looking out the windows and seeing grass than they were to see that harvested potatoes. Right. So yeah, job this morning then is to get all this road up. And to get it uh, bailed, basically. We'll go around the outside first and drag it all in from the edge. And then we'll go around the other way, adding to the swath. Looks like it's working well at the minute. Good. I think this field has yielded quite well to be perfectly honest compared to the other one so i'm quite pleased about that but once we've um once we've got it all bailed up we're also going to get some slurry spread on it as well just make sure we get the the best yield possible for next year plenty of other grass fields as well that we've got that are ready to be sorted Yeah, that's doing nicely at the minute. All right, I'm going to get on and get this done. And then we'll come back with the Fent and the Baler. Don't want to take it slow. Just want to let you know. Ready to spend some time. I want to spend some time. Needed some time to roll. Just want to let you know. Ready to spend some time. Ready to talk, baby. Can be your rock, baby. He's coming sit with me or take a walk with me. I need to speak to you. Just want to be with you. Just let me take you for a ride. Is there a chance that we could make another try? I think we're meant to be. Didn't want to say goodbye. If there's a chance, just tell me how. Because time is precious. Time is now. Don't want to take it slow. Just want to let you know. Baby. <laughs> 
Well, quite a big job that was. All done now though. It's half past nine. Time to get it all bailed. Oh. Ugh. Trouble with these hedges, you can't actually see what's there until you've already pulled out. And then you've got to climb out the mud. Ah, well. How's that done? Right, so, um. Yeah, we're going to park this up. Actually, you might wash it, to be perfectly honest. Get this washed. And parked up. Um, and then I was thinking we'd probably use the John Deere for the bailing. We need to go get the bailer. It's over there. You can see it. Actually, see it from here. We'll get go get the we'll get the John Deere. We'll hook it up to the bailer. And um, yeah, we'll go and make the bales. thought a lot about doing them um, Owen's driveway as well if we get all that all that mud scooped up and out of the way we could um, yeah we could put down some gravel or something and, and make it a much smoother track he'd like that right I'm gonna get on with this and, uh, and then we'll start with the bailing well, that can stay there. Yeah, we haven't used the John Deere in a little while. Be nice to use that again. Right, let's go get the bailer and I'll see you back in the field. So what's really weird is the John Deere doesn't appear to have the right connections to attach the hydraulic brakes from the trailer, which means that I'm dragging it and the brakes are still on on the, on the bailer. Which doesn't make any sense at all. See, I can disconnect those ones. But there is nowhere to connect the brake lines. So we're going to have to use the fence. Right, I'm going to get this put away. And we're going to get the fence. Which is disappointing. Because I, I would have thought that they would be compatible. I guess that um, Owen must have always used the Hurleyman on the baler, which is, which I wouldn't have thought would have had the power for it, but, but there we go. Well, you learn something new every day. Let's have a quick look at the back of this. Right. Uh, we need some fuel before we start, so. Fuel tank's on the left, so we'll just get line that up with the fuel. Right, well, all, after all that faffing about, it is, it is, well, 10 to 11. So it is cracking on a bit. We need to get all these bales sorted and done. And, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Let's 
see how we get on. Yep, that's picking up nicely. Good stuff. So we should be able to get these uh, these bits done in no time. Well, things are going pretty well so far. Got a few hay bales appearing around the field. This is hard work for this tractor. But equally it's good. Oh, hello. Who's this? Oh, it's Abby. Better switch it off so I can hear her. Hey, Abby. Hi, Hearn. You right? Yeah, not too bad. Um, Robert, are you busy at the minute? I was just uh, bailing up a field, why? Oh, oh, are you bailing hay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wonderful. That would be great. Um, we need some. Oh, okay. <laughs> How many bales would you like? Um, two, if possible, please. Like the same that you did last time. Yeah, no problem at all. Sorry to call you on uh, such short notice. I just didn't realise we'd run out so quickly. That's all right. It's lucky that I'm doing this today. I, I did think you'd ask for it soon. That's why we sort of decided to do this field. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, um, did you manage to talk to Owen about um, about my little Danish? <laughs> I, d I did, yeah. I'll talk to you when I come down and drop the hay off. Okay, great. Right, bye. See you in a bit. Bye. Okay. Well, you heard. Abby needs some bales. So we need to crack on and get all this done. Probably not going to get around to getting the... Uh, getting the slurry spread on here today. But that's okay. Plenty of time for that. Most important thing is getting the bales sorted. So I reckon that um, Abby said she needed two of the bales and the rest of them should do well to uh, pad out our stores a bit more, I should think. Got this final one to do, and then we're uh, all good. Bailing always a much, much quicker job than the rowing. <laughs> so, uh, well, it is on this farm, but that's only because of the equipment we've got. <clears throat> right, that should be the last of it. Stop that and pick that up. Right, I do need to eject the last two bales. Or one bale, or... Do that now. There we go, that's done. Right, I might as well hop out and get the back folded up. And now we can head back. So how many was that then? That was... Oof, let's get out and have a look. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not too bad. So two to Abbey. And then seven to us. So I'll need to go and get the bale trailer. And get the uh, telehandler. Get the JCB load all. Then we can get them loaded up. First of all, let's take this back down to Owen's farm. There we go, that's dropped off where it was before. I'll use this to get the trailer sorted. And then we'll take the load all around as well. Actually, could I fit that? Something going on at the church. Thought I heard bells. Can I fit that trailer to the back of this? I don't know. Let's give it a go. That would make things a lot easier. That should do us there. <clears throat> right. So I just had a coughing fit. <clears throat> That's not good. Some of the tea from my flask went down the wrong way. Right, we'll load up two at a time. And then final one at the end. Bump them into each other to try and get them square. There we go. That's probably enough for it. We'll go and load these up in, in pairs. There we go, we've got them all loaded up. I will um, I will get them strapped on before we go anywhere. Do that now. Right. Throw some straps over. That should hold them nicely.
There we go. Right. To take these back to the yard, we'll unload all but two. And then those two can go to Abbey. But uh, I won't be taking them down there with the JCB. That's going to be with the tractor. Okay. That's that sorted. So these two bales now need to go over to Avi. We're going to get the tractor hooked up and we're going to head over now. Right, here we are. Here's Abby's Jeep, so we know she's here. I'll just pull around this side because uh, this will be where she wants them. Okay. Right. Better find her, I suppose. Hi, Robert. Hi, Abby. You're right. Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> I did say I was bailing it. <laughs> um, are you all right to put them in the same place that you did last time? Yep, no problem. Have you got the keys to your dad's tractor? Um, yep, let me go and get them. Won't okay. be a sec. <laughs> Thanks. Might as well wander over to it. Robert! Hey, Abby. Catch! Ah. <laughs> Just about. Give me a warning next time. <laughs> Sorry. So. Oh, yeah, Danish. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did speak to Owen. He is of the opinion that I've gone soft and that I know what needs to be done and that pig needs to go down the knackers yard. You're joking, right? That's what he said to me. He said, if you want any different, you need to come and speak to him. Well, I definitely want to go and speak to him, then. Will you take me? OK, let me unload these bales and then we'll go down to, to Owen. Does he just not understand? Like, you know, he can be saved. It's not It's not a case that it's, he's... It's business. He's, only, he's thinking about business. He doesn't think about the animals. Well, I'd like to speak to him, if, if that's OK, Robert. OK. Thank I'll you for trying. Get these bales unloaded and then we'll go. OK, great. Thank you. Right, I've done that, Abby. Are you uh, you going to follow me down to Owen's in your car or are you going to get in the tractor with me? Um, I'll follow you down because I need to go and do the pigs after I've been to speak to Owen anyway. OK, all right, I'll see you there. I mean, it does look like we've blocked in his driveway to stop him escaping. Well, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> okay. Just knock on his door. Hey, Owen. Hello, lad. Hello, lady. Hi, Owen. Hello. Oh, don't you look lovely today? Oh, thank you. I uh, haven't done anything special. Can we come in? I'll make you a cup of tea. 
Uh, oh, okay, yeah, that'd be lovely. So, what brings you two round here? So, Owen, I wanted to come and speak to you because I, uh, I've been really enjoying looking after your pigs and I've got really, really fond of them. And I know that Robert might have mentioned something to you about me, um, about me looking after them and, and taking care of them. And there's one in particular that's not been very well. And I was wondering if um, there was any chance that we could... Um, maybe get the vet out to him just to check to see why he's limping and I'm more than happy to organise all of that for you and I'm happy to pay for it and I just thought that we could get him some treatment and then um, just get him back to good health. Absolutely no problem at all. I don't know I don't know why... Uh, yeah, I don't see that being a prob problem. Hang on. What? Oh, but fantastic. Oh, that's amazing, Owen. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to you. But... But... So um, I'll um, I'll organise all that and um, yeah, that that's fantastic. Oh, I'm so relieved. You're such a good man, Owen. Ah, well, I try to be. I try to do my best. See yeah. uh, Come on then, babe. We can go now. If um, if I... unless you need us for anything else, Owen. No, no, no. You you carry on, yes. Fantastic. Thanks. Well, bye. See you later. Um. <laughs> See, never send a man to do a woman's job. But <laughs> looks like little Danish is going to be my little Danish after all. Uh... Okay. <laughs> bye, love. I'm going to do the pigs. <laughs> uh, bye.